Great, we're gonna review the Samsung mobile app for iPad. We just launch it. Here we have, uh, we have uh, access to the photo library, the camera, just quite good, you can use it. And you have this big print button here that you can just well, I don't have now the any uh, Samsung printer attached to the network, but it looks like it's quite straightforward. You just have this print print button here. You have uh, access to Google Docs. I already log into my Google Docs account, so I have all these kind of documents available. It's quite a straightforward. I have this website. You can launch here any website you like. Let's go to one, two, three. A meter reading dot com. Yeah, straight forward. Then you hit the print button. It kind of captures the the website itself. It takes a while. Let's have a look. It's preparing. Okay, here we are. It's now in two pages. So if you don't want to print the second page, maybe it's just the, the footer and so on, you just unclick it. And it looks like it's going to print only the first page. Okay, you have, enough, you have an HTML file here. And you just click print and that should be alright. And if we go to document, yeah, we can we can have access to a scanner. I guess if we have that scan uh, available on the network, then it will scan. It it looks quite nice, quite clear, and it does what it says. It's uh, it only asks you for a logging um, Google account for Google Docs. Just one thing, if you, it will prompt a question about uh, using your um, your um, location information. If you prompt here, uh, if if you answer no, if you don't allow the system, the, the the app to use your information, it will not launch this photo. I don't know the photo albums, so it, it's asking always that. Uh, I don't know why, but they want to know where you are now. But once you go to settings and change it back, it was what I did, then it works fine. So that should be all right. That should be all. Thank you for watching.